the function x squared at negative 1, 1, we find the slope using the slope of a line formula. Then we substitute the values. So as the limit of the function approaches negative 1, we factor out first the numerator. So now we get x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x plus 1. Then we'll cancel out the same terms. So now we have left is x minus 1. Now we substitute negative 1 to the function. Now we have negative 1 minus 1. The answer would be negative 2. So our slope is negative 2. Given the slope 2 and the point negative 1, 1, we substitute the values to the point slope formula. We will obtain y minus 1 equals negative 2 multiplied to x plus 1. Distribute negative 2 to x plus 1, then move negative 1 to the right side of the equation, then combine like terms. So the equation of our tangent line is y equals negative 2 x minus 1. Given the function 2x minus 1 at 1, 1, we find the slope using the slope of a line formula. Then we substitute the values as the function approaches 1. Now getting 2x minus 2 over x minus 1, we factor the numerator. So now we get 2 times x minus 1 over x minus 1. Then we cancel out the same terms. So our m would be 2. Given the slope 2 and the point 1, 1, we substitute the values to the point slope formula. Then we substitute the values. Distribute 2 to x minus 1. Then we'll obtain 2x minus 2. Then using addition property, we move negative 1 to the right side of the equation. Then we combine the like terms. Now, the equation of our tangent line is y equals 2x minus 1. Given the function of square root of x at point 1, 1, we would substitute the value to the slope of a line equation. So we get limit of x as approaches of 1, square root of x minus 1 over x minus 1. So by conjugating x square root of x minus 1, we would get x minus 1 over x minus 1 times square root of x plus 1. So cancel out like terms, so we would get 1 over square root of x minus plus 1. And by substituting the giving value of x, we would have 1 half. So the slope of the line is 1 half. So given the slope 1 half at point 1, 1, we would substitute the given value to the point slope formula y minus 1 is equal to 1 half multiplied by x minus 1. So we get y minus 1 is equal to 1 half x minus 1 half. Then we move the negative 1 to the right side of this equation and combine like terms. So we obtain y is equal to 1 half x plus 1 half as a tangent line equation. Given the function x plus 1 over x minus 1 at point 3, 2, we get the slope by substituting the given to the slope line formula. And we get the limits of x as approaches 3, x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 as numerator over x minus 3 as denominator. Then we get the LCD and we get x plus 1 minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 3. Then we distribute negative 2 so we get x plus 1 minus 2 x plus 2 over x minus 1 over x minus 3 then combine like terms so we get negative x plus 3 over x minus 1 over x minus 3 negative x plus 3 over x minus 1 multiplied by denominator form 1 over x minus 3 we will obtain negative x plus 3 over x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3 so we can set out our combined like terms and we would have negative 1 over x minus 1 and we substitute 3 so we would obtain negative 1 half so the slope is negative 1 half given the slope negative 1 half at the point 3 2 we would substitute it to two point slope formula and we would obtain y minus 2 is equals to negative 1 half multiply x minus 3 and we multiply or distribute negative 1 half so we would obtain y minus 2 is equals to negative 1 half x plus 3 halves then we would use APE and move negative 2 to the right side of the equation we would have negative 1 half x plus 3 halves plus 4 over 2 combined like terms so we would have the equation of the tangent that which is which has the value of negative 1 half x 
or y is equals to negative 1 half x plus 7 over 2.